Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video of Joey's Tech, you are going to learn to write a Java program to check if an entered character is a vowel or a consonant. The program is going to take the character as an input from the console or the standard input and it's going to determine if that character is a vowel or a consonant. Let's deep dive into coding the program straight away. This is my IntelliJ ID in which I have created this project. I'm going to create a class first. So let me create one class. Let me name it uh, vowel or consonant. There you go, class created. The next thing that I'm going to do is to create the main function for which I'm going to simply type PSVM and IntelliJ is going to do the rest of the work for me. There you go, main function created. We are interested in taking the character from the console. So for that, the first step will be to declare a variable that will hold that character. So it will be a character variable. Thus, we are going to write char and let's call this variable C. To receive the input from the console or the standard input, we will have to use the scanner class which is available in java.util package. So let's import that class. Thus, we are going to write import java.util scanner there you go scanner class import the next thing that we are going to do is to create an object of the scanner class so let's create one we are going to call that object sc to its constructor we are going to pass system.in as the parameter so if you want an elaborated explanation regarding scanner class, how to receive input from the console, then you can watch the video in the i button. Now we are going to use the next method of the scanner class. The next method is going to receive the input as text from the console and it's going to assign it to the variable C, the character variable C. So we are going to write C equals to SC dot. Next, you see that this Java program is showing compilation error. This is because the return type of the next method is a string and C is the character variable. To counter this, we'll have to use the char add function. The char add function, if we pass zero as its parameter, then it's going to strip off the character at index zero from the string. And it's going to assign that character to this character variable C. So let's use it. So after next, it will be dot char at and as its parameter, we'll pass zero. There you go. This is the right thing to do. Now to avoid writing the conditions of comparing the value in the character variable C against the vowels in uppercase, we are going to use a trick. The trick will be to declare a character variable, let's say F and assign to it the lowercase of the value in the character variable c so we are going to use the to lowercase function of the character class so it will be character dot to lowercase and uh, as its parameter we are going to pass c so even if we provide a character in uppercase the variable f is going to store the lowercase version of that character this will save us the time for writing the conditions of checking the value of the character variable C against the uppercase versions of the vowels. You will understand it in a bit, not to worry. Now we will write the main logic. We will use the conditional statement if else. Since the question is about determining whether a character is a vowel or a consonant, it is shouting at us to use if else. So we are going to write if and as its condition, we'll write f, which contains the lowercase version of the character entered comparison operator a or f comparison operator again e, f comparison operator again i or f again comparison operator o or operator again f comparison operator u all right so what this condition is doing it's checking if the value stored in the character variable f is either a or e 
or I or O or U. If it is one of these vowels, then we are going to print that the value stored in character variable C is a vowel, not F, because F stores the lower version of the character provided as the input. The original version of the character provided as input is still in character variable C. Thus, we are going to write system dot out dot println C concatenation operator is a vowel. All right. Now, if the character present in the variable F is uh, not any one of uh, A, E, I, O, U, then we will declare that it's a consonant. Hence, in the else part, we are going to simply write, we are going to copy this line of code, paste it over here. Instead of vowel, we'll write consonant. So this is going to display that the character stored in the character variable C is a consonant. Okay, that's it. This is the logic. The final thing that we are going to do is to close the scanner class object. This is very necessary. It's a good practice to follow right from day one because it helps Java reclaim the memory assigned to the scanner class object. It's time to run the program and check the output. One thing that we have missed including in this program is writing the code to display a message asking the user to enter the character when the program runs. So let's write the code for that. So before we declare the scanner class object, we are going to write system dot out dot println within double quotes. We'll write enter the character. This message is going to display on the console when the program first runs. Let's run the program now. All right. It's asking me to enter the character. Let me enter capital C. And there you go. The program says that C is a consonant. Let me enter capital U. And the program rightly says that U is a vowel. Let me enter small a. And it has determined correctly that A is a vowel. This shows that the program is working fine. Let me tell you another method to determine if the entered character is a vowel or a consonant. We are going to code it in a different style by using the static function. So we are going to create a function inside this class only. Thus we are going to write static void and let's call this function as vowel or consonant function. And it's going to accept two parameters okay one will be char x and char y all right so x is going to contain the character stored in the character variable f and y is going to contain the character stored in the character variable c within this function first we are going to declare a string variable and we are going to initialize it to a e i o q so let's declare a string variable we'll call it str and it's going to contain one string as a e i o q the logic is to determine if x is present as a character in this string this can be easily accomplished using the index of function if x is present within this string then x is a vowel else it's not so we will write if and as its condition we'll write str and we are going to use the index of method as its parameter we'll pass x now if x is present within this string then the index of x will be returned else it's going to return the index of method is going to return minus one so if it is minus one all right then we are going to print that the character present in y is a consonant okay else we are going to print that the character present in y is a vowel job done that's the logic that's method number two of course we are going to call this function from the main function 
so over here we will simply write vowel or consonant function by charm is helping us remember x is going to contain the character present in the variable f so first parameter will be f and y is going to contain the character present in the character variable c so the second parameter will be c all right there is a minor change that i am going to make what i am going to do that in this message i am going to append using method two. this will make this output distinct from the output of method number one okay let's run the program and check the output now okay so let me enter capital y this time and there you go it prints capital y is a consonant using method 2 let me enter small z the program has correctly determined that z is a consonant using method 2 and let me enter i capital i this time it says i is a vowel using method 2 this shows that both the methods coded in this java program are working fine with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning this program of determining whether the entered character is a vowel or a consonant do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts i look forward to help you with java programming and only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself